Hi, everybody. I was uh, <laughs> I was trying to get uh, got these two guys that are uh, on my uh, Facebook, and they were uh, saying stuff. And so I was trying to get them to uh, come on with me and debate me live, and and so far no luck. Like I said, one of them is called Harb. You know, I think you've heard about Harb. <laughs> we've had uh, we've had some de dealings with Harb before, and there's also Radwan, who is kind of it's not Radwan Allah, the one that I've done debates with before this is another Radwan and uh Radwan came on the live stream yesterday and so I wanted to talk to him and he he is Muslim and he is defending the Quran and stuff and I said well come on come and defend the Quran on the uh, hello welcome everybody and I'm trying to get him to come on and defend it you know here uh you know before I go before I go with what you know about rolling down in the deep when you sorry about that he opened up another guy's page <laughs> I think it's a cousin too but uh thank you Bruce appreciate it oh good vibes all right I'll put that on there for you there anyway so I'm waiting for these guys hey Kevin are you you're an ex-muslim you know what uh no one else looks like uh looks like uh radwan allah uh, oh it's not radwan allah uh, radwan and uh harb are uh, avoiding me so i just put my uh invitation there if uh, you know uh kevin if you're a ex-muslim why don't you come on tell me a little bit about how you became an ex-muslim you know and uh you know because the trying to get these cousins to come on uh not necessarily cousins i don't know if they're cousins sultan sultan i've been sultan said something really weird uh he he said to me that uh <laughs> he said i don't want to die and I, I don't know what that means i said uh you know i keep uh, sending him the invitations he says alwat is a martyr whatever that alwat i don't know what that means adi arin adi arin adi arin ali oh i'm not sure if he's trying to get me to uh to call him okay well let me see if he wants if he does if he does respond you know If he does respond so uh then we can uh talk with him see if he wants to i'm not sure exactly hello marhaba marhaba كيف حالك انا كيف تمام كيفك انت؟ الحمد لله تمام انت قلت لي ارن عليك؟ اه عشان بتقول لي احكي عربي ما تحكيش عربي انت بتحكي عربي بتحكي عربي ولا بتحكي انجليزي؟ شكتي لا انجليزي بس كتاب اه بتكتب انجليزي بس بتحكي عربي نعم آه مين معك؟ <تصفيق> هذا ابن عمي اهلا وسهلا بكم انت انت شو رايك؟ من امريكا امريكا انت ها؟ نعم من امريكا الولايات المتحده اه نعم انت انا من فلسطين اهلا وسهلا انا من فلسطين كمان <تصفيق> Everybody this من وين اصلا؟ من وين؟ This is You guys can you guys hear Sultan? He's talking in Arabic. He's just telling me that he's from Palestine. He has his, one of his cousins is with them. So uh, yeah. can can you guys hear? Just wondering, can you guys uh, anybody? Are, yeah, okay, you can hear. Okay, he's talking in Arabic and he's not really showing his. Uh, even though I could share the screen, just so that you know that I'm talking to him. So uh, 
Okay, this is a messenger call. So uh, I'm talking to him on Facebook. طيب أخي. عادي. عادي أسأل سؤال. It's a سؤال. Okay, he wants to ask a question, you guys. Now he's going to talk in Arabic, so I'll translate into Arabic for uh, into English for you guys. طب أنا راح عشان في ناس بتفرجوا علينا. بدي إياهم يعرفوا شو بتقول عشان هيك أنا راح أترجم من العربي للإنجليزي. Okay. طيب. طيب اسمع. مش انت حكيت انك كنت مسلم وحولت مسيحي؟ مش عودت مسيحي، انا كنت مسلم وصرت مسيحي، يس. هيز اسكينج مي يو جايز، هي سايز يو سايد يو ور مسلم اند يو بيكيم ا كريستيان، اند اي سايد يس. جو اهيد تفضل. ماشي بقى بس انا واقف يا عزابي احكي معك. المسيحي بيختلف عني لو ضليت مسلم احسن. هي سايز اتس بيتر اف اي ستيت ا مسلم. لا بلد خوص يعني انا مسلم وبعرف شو في في القران مش قران بتعرف القران؟ ب... ب... نعم ولا اوكي هي سايز ذات ات بي بيتر فور مي اف اي بيكيم ا مسلم اوكي هي سايز ذات هي انديرستاندز ذا قران سو ام غانا اسك هيم سمثينج هل المسيح مات في القران ولا لا؟ المسيح ايه؟ هل مات المسيح في القران ولا لا؟ والله ما بعرف انت بتقول لي انت بتعرف القران وانت مش عارف اذا المسيح مات ولا لا انا بقرا القران بس مش يعني اني ها اكبر شيء مش شيخ انا لو شيخ كان بقول يا عمي الكل بيقول هيك لو انا شيخ لو انا شيخ يعني ام اسكن هيم هي سيد هي نوز ذا قران فيري ويل اند سو اي اسكت هيم ويل ديد جيسس داي ان ذا قران اند هي سيز اي دونت نو <laughs> and then I asked him, how can you say you know the Quran? He said, well, I'm not a sheikh. I'm not an imam. That's what. That's always what they say. <laughs> he says that in the Quran, there is a punishment and there's hell and there's the يعني عذاب القبر. Yes, وفي عذاب الآخرة وفي حساب للصلاة. He says there's a there's punishment and there's a judgment for prayer and stuff on on judgment day. Tab bidas al bidas alak su'ad. Nah, mister. Okay. Hal hal inta ra'i ha jannah? La agri. He says. Uh, I asked him, are you going to heaven? He says. He says. Uh, it has to be. Taibi ammi. Hal inta mitakid inna ra'i ha jannah? لا هذا من عند ربنا انا بلش بلش على النار على الجنه هل هل محمد راح على الجنه؟ ولا ليش عند شروق؟ نعم نبي هل محمد راح على الجنه؟ صحيح انه نبي بس في في الحساب في الحساب من عند ربنا ما بعرفش انا بألف شيء في القران تعرف القران تعرف شو بيقول في القران؟ ماذا يقولون؟ بقول لك في سورة الأحقاف تعرف سورة الأحقاف؟ أنت صدقني ما أنت عارف القرآن ولا الحديث ولا إشي بس في سورة الأحقاف آية تسعة محمد بيقول ما أدري ماذا يفعل بي أو بكم ما أدري ماذا يفعل بي أو بكم I don't know what's going to happen to you or me Okay, I, I'm asking him did Muhammad go to heaven and, uh, uh, and he, he said uh, Uh, hi Sam, if you want to come on here, I, I sent the invitation on my. Uh, here's the uh, invitation, Sam. If you want to come on, come on. تعرف إنه تعرف إنه في القرآن. لا لا مين حكي لك إنه هيك بحكي مع سيدنا محمد؟ مين حكي لك بحكي؟ طيب طيب أحكي ال. ما عندك قرآن؟ yes. عند القرآن؟ which thing? شوف سورة الأحقاف آية تسعة. Okay. Now he's got he's got somebody else with him. He's got somebody else with him. Hey, welcome, Sam. How are you, brother? How you doing? Doing, brother. Good to see you. Good, brother. How you doing? I got a couple of guys here. They're we're, they're talking in Arabic, and I'm arguing. With them. I'm, I'm debating them. Yes. <laughs> you can give them chapter forty-six, verse nine, to read in Arabic. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm giving them right now. Okay. Arabic uh, and English. اسمع انت مع القران ولا لا انت ما صدقني يس ايوه ايوه بيد حمد سوره الاحقاف اي س... هذا القران هذا السوره 46 ايه 9 
يلا شوي بستنى طول ها هاي يوتيوب بتقول محمد بيقول محمد بيقول ما ادري ماذا يفعل بي او بكم محمد مش عارف اذا عن نفسه اذا هو رايح على الجنه ولا النار مش عارف اذا هو بيقدر ياخذ حدا على الجنه ولا على النار هذا محمد واحده نعم ايه اوكي يلا بسرعه عشان لازم نروح على الشغل Yes. Only piety and righteousness by the will of Habibi Ya Radwan, inta khayf tatla ma'ana. Radwan, you're afraid to come on with us and you keep saying all these things. No. La la, sabiki. Nani la khaf illa min Allah. Naam? Nani la khaf illa min Allah. Ikraha kulha. Ay, shu shu ay, shu ay. Ay, tis'a fi surat al-ahqaf. انت بتعرف سوره الاحقاف؟ ليش؟ سوره الاحقاف انت انت مش عارف انت مش عارف القران لازم اعلمك القران خل خليني خليني اشوفها خليني اشوف هي الاحقاف ايش الاحقاف؟ الاحقاف اوكي هي هي ايه اه احقاف يا عمي انتم مش عارفين دينكم انا جاي اعلمكم دينكم كمان هاي شوف شوف في آية تسعة شو بتقول اقرأها I'm telling them to read chapter 46 9 I gave you Bukhari too in the link okay يلا بسرعة لازم نروح على الشغل number nine number nine لا no هاي سأفتح لك الكاميرا وانت وترى عيني راح تفتحها ها يلا هات شوي بس عرفتوا في تليفوني هذا هو طيب يلا اقرا 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 آية تسعة هاي آية تسعة ونزلنا من السماء ماء مباركا فأنبتنا به جنات وحب الحصيد Sometimes the Arabic verses is different. It may be one verse later or before in the Arabic. Ikraha kulha, Yan. I think these guys. I think these guys, Sam. I don't think these guys have ever opened the Quran in their life. Yeah, and I've also noticed in the Arabic the versification is different from the English because I've had that happen to me. No, the it, it's right. I have it right here. خليني احط لكم اياه على الشاشه بس عشان انتوا انتوا رايحين تقعدوا سنه ونص قبل ما تشوفوها. استنى 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 استنى. هاني فتحت لكم اياها شوف اقروها هيوتا على ال... هيوتا على الشاشه شوف. قول ما كنت بدعا من الرسل وما ادري ما يفعل بي ولا بكم. ما ما ادري ماذا يفعل بي او بكم محمد مش عارف اذا هو رايح على النار ولا على الجنه هايوت بيقول ومش عارف اذا هو الناس اللي بيطبعوه اذا رايحين على النار ولا على الجنه يو ار مسيحي ولا مسلم؟ انا مسيحي طبعا طيب عيسى عيسى من يكون؟ وان عيسى او ابيو يعني بس انت لسه اول شيء بدي اياك تقرا الايه هذه، هل انت قريت الايه هذه؟ احنا عندنا طيب عندنا القران كامل احنا يعني الايات بنعرف الجزئيات اي اندرستاند يو هل اقرا الايه هذه، شو بتقول؟ الاعراف الاعراف مش الاعراف يا عمي انت مش عارف القران، هيني حطيت لك اياه سوره الاعراف هي سورة ستة وأربعين أنت تقول لي سورة تسعة هي تسعة لا أنا قلت لك ألف مرة ستة وأربعين آية تسعة تصدق أنت مش عارفين أنت أولاد صغار ولا شو؟ لا أنا عمري 18 سنة 18 سنة طيب شوي شوي. ايه شو قال اي شو؟ 46 46 دقيقة واحدة نفتح على القرآن. يلا بسرعة. 
Hey, uh, Steve, make me a mod on your uh, a mod. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. okay. let me uh, yeah. let me go uh, on YouTube page. Make me a mod, please, uh, so I can put links. Uh, uh, كل ما أنت بدعا من الرسل وما أنت ما يفعل فيه إلا بكم إن أتبع إلا ما يوحى إلا وما أنا إلا نذير مبين صح؟ أيوة صح كل ما كنت بدعا من الرسل وما مش سيدة محمد اللي قالها مين اللي قالها؟ كل ما كنت بدعا من الرسل وما أدري ما يفعل فيه ولا بكم إن أتبع إلا ما يوحى إلا أيوة صح ايوه تاك هذا الله بيقول لمحمد يا محمد قول هيك يا محمد قول هيك ما ادري ماذا يفعل بي او بي عيسى عيسى مين بيكون؟ يي يا خلينا اول شيء في هذه الايه وبعدين بنحكي عن عيسى اول شيء شو بتقول هذه الايه؟ عيسى مين بيكون؟ في حساب للملايك وفي حساب للمسلمين في حساب للمسلمين في حساب لليهود في حساب لكل شيء احنا ما بنقولش على حديث بس آه العلم عند الله بس انت يا احنا ما بنحطش شيء في فراسنا في القران بس تعرف بس بدي اقول لك هيوت الايه هذه بتقول لك الايه هذه بتقول لك انه محمد مش عارف اذا هو عن نفسه مش عارف اذا هو رايح على الجنه ولا جهنم احنا مكتوب عندنا You want to you want to translate for the people too because they're not following okay. you. Okay. طيب عطيني دقيقة يا جماعة. Okay. عطيني دقيقة عشان بدي ترجم لل للأمريكان. Okay. عشان في في أمريكا أمريكان سامعين شيء. Okay. أوعى تفضحونا. أنا فلسطيني. أوعى تفضحني. Okay. الله يخزيك فلسطيني. Okay, you guys. I'm telling these guys what I'm telling them is they keep wanting to change the subject, but I keep taking them back. We're we're Chapter 46, verse 9 of the Quran, Surat al ahqaf It's called Surat al ahqaf verse 9. And what it says in English is, uh, uh, say, this is Allah telling Muhammad, I am not something uh, original among the messengers, and I do not know what will be done with me or with you. Muhammad doesn't know if he's going to heaven or to hell. He doesn't know if he's going up or down. Yeah. And he doesn't know if you're going up or down. And so no matter what he tells you, he doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know what he doesn't know if he can take you there. And, and, and what I'm going to tell him is that Jesus does know where he's going and Jesus does know how to take you there. But Muhammad doesn't. And so I'm trying to get these guys They're 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 both like around 18, 19 years old. And they, I don't think they've ever opened the Quran in their life. But <laughs> Please make me a mod so I can put links in the YouTube channel. I did, man. I made you a mod. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, I love you, man. I love you too, man. I love your hairline. <laughs> now, and anyway, you can show them from the Quran that Jesus is with Allah. Okay. Akhi, I want to tell you from the Quran that the Messiah is Allah. Yeah. Say, uh, I'm like Muhammad, because that's chapter 4, verse 158. Uh, uh, go ahead and put it for me, Sam. Where? Yeah, it's uh, Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 158. Allah took Jesus to himself. Ah. Uh, Allah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, best uh, best haga wahade khalini arud ala shab. Okay, this is okay. I have a question from Radwan Abdullah. Radwan okay. Abdullah is asking, Where did Jesus say he will take you to heaven? Hey, Sam, John, would you like to answer that? Yeah, John 14, verses 1 to 6. What is it? John 14, verses 1 to 6. Okay, all right, Radwan, Radwan Allah. Because I love you, even though you're you won't come on with me, I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. Radwan Allah, can you hear me? Because I'm I'm doing this for you. Uh, because I've been begging you to come on, you won't come on with me, so I'm doing all the hard work here for you. Let me read it to you, Radwan Allah. Okay, okay. The, um, now you see they've got two conversations going on here. We got Radwan Allah, 
and we got another guy here and these other two guys so share screen okay Radwan Allah you asked a question this is a, this is the answer to you Radwan Allah Jesus is speaking John chapter 14 do not let your hearts be troubled you believe in God believe also in me my father's house has many rooms if it were not so I would have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that, that you also may be where I am. So there you go, Rabban Allah. Keep going, keep going a sec, bro. Keep going, don't stop. Okay, you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Hallelujah. Sorry. So there you go, Radwan Allah. You asked a very good question, Radwan Allah. Thank you for the good question. Great question, Radwan Allah. I appreciate that. No, well, you're not Radwan Allah. You're Ridwan Abdullah. Okay. Great question, Radwan Abdullah. I wish you would come on with me instead of just writing questions, but that's a good question, though. Okay. So, <laughs> انت حافظين القران طب بس انا سالتك انا س... okay, i'm talking to these guys you guys these guys are saying are are, are saying uh, they're really saying nothing actually but i'm trying to get the point in let me see let me see if i get a point in with these guys okay you guys طيب بس بدي اسالك بدي اسالك سؤال هل انت انت انا بقول لك انه المحمد مش عارف عن نفسه اذا هو رايح على الجنه ولا على النار هو مش عارف عنكم اذا انتم رايحين على الجنه ولا على النار انا وريتك الايه لكن المسيح المسيح بيقول هو بيعرف كيف يوصلكم للجنه نعم كل اسم مكتوب في الجنه اسم سيدنا محمد مكتوب في الجنه اسم سيدنا محمد مكتوب في الجنه اها وين مكتوب Okay. أعطيك واحد أعطيك واحد أكبر مني تحكي معه. Okay, we got three guys now. You guys. Yeah, I heard. I hear. I see another voice. Okay, let me let me just tell you what he said, Sam. See if if you'd like to respond to it. He yeah, said that Muhammad is in uh, paradise, right? Yeah, the name of Muhammad. The name of Muhammad is written in paradise. Say, so show me in the verse in the Quran where it says okay. that. Okay. طيب أنا بدي أسألكم. اعطوني آية في القرآن بتقول اسم محمد مكتوب مكتوب في الجنة. وريني آية في القرآن بتقول هيك. بدي أعطيك آية كل هو الله وحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يلد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. سمح الآية. صدقني أنتم من وين جايبين هذا الآية ما بتردش على على السؤال. أنا قلت لك أنت قلت لي. أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما لا تعبدون. What is he, what is he saying? What's got to do with it? Into Sadegna into Bitlifu, Bitnotu, Bitnotu, into Miss J. Bean, Willa, Marode to Allah, Willa Suel, Eliana Kotilaki, Tab Ismail Shabab, Ismail Shabab, Ismail Shabab, Ahna, Hedefna, Hedefna, Bidna Yakumat Ruhosh Annar, Bidna Yakumat Ruho Annar, okay? بدنا ياكم تروحوا على الجنة محمد ما بيقدر يوصلكم للجنة تعرف شو قال محمد لك خليني أقول لك خليني أقول لك محمد دونك بيجي على شو اسمه على مثلا على قومة وبدعي لهم أنا رح أقول معي كامل شلنا شلنا أو أوكي أم يا عز تعرف خليني بس أسجر هذه بدي أقول لك بدي أقول لك إنه محمد بيقدرش محمد قال في القرآن ما أدري ماذا يفعل بي أو بكم بيقدرش هو يوصلكم للجنة هذه المشكلة لكن قصد الآية مش هيك 
يعني ان ربنا بيعلم بالغيب بس النبي ما بيعلم بخاري فودام شو ده بخاري ما انت بتعرف شو بده يصير معك بعد ساعه، بتعرف شو بده يصير معك بعد ساعه انت. بس شايف شايف شباب هذه هذه الفرق تعرف عشان المسيح بيعرف المسيح بس اقول لكم شباب شباب المسيح صحيح كلامكم محمد ما بعرف محمد بعرفش محمد بيعرفش لكن المسيح بيعرف المسيح بيعرف اوكي خليني خليني افرجيكم ايه من ال where was that is that you sent that one into the private chat yeah you'll see bukhari it's right there it's uh, they and they can see it they can see the arabic as well just open it up for them okay is there a particular verse in this it's bukhari yeah, I know, but I mean the... Uh, Muhammad I mean, says he doesn't know it's going to happen to him. Open, let him read it. Allahu Akbar, brother. Okay, shabab, into pikra arabi, sah? No. Okay, bidiyak tikra hadi. Bidiyak, hadha min sahih al-Bukhari, okay? Shabab, in shi'anna. Okay, but rahab, into shayfini shayasha indi? Show it to them, yeah. Okay, show Shayfini shayasha indi? لا فيش شيء شوف تحت الكاميرا ونجيب تحت شوف 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 الشاشه عندي هالكيت ايوت في في مكتوب بالعربي هذا صحيح البخاري هذا سنه النبي هذا سنه النبي اتفضل اقراها في شيء شيء ما بينش انت شايفني ولا مش شايفني لا مش موجود انت عندي شايف انت عندكم شاشه ولا لا شاشه كمبيوتر لا شاشه ابل ابل امريكا من عندي من جهاز مو فلسطين انا بعرف يو نو وات ذير نوت سينج ذي دونت ذير نوت سينج فور ذم ريد ات فور ذم اوكي خليني اقرا لكم اياه انا راح اقرا لكم اياه اوكي اي رضوان ايوه ايوه رضوان اسمه رضوان الله رضوان الله طيب ثواني انا بس بدي اياه خليني خليني اقرا لكم اياه. نعم هيك هيك ثواني فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وما يدريك ان الله اكرم قالت قلت لا ادري بابي انت وامي يا رسول الله فمن قال اما هو فقد جاء والله اليقين والله اني لا أرج ارجو له الخير وما ادري والله وانا رسول ما يفعل بي هاي 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 محمد بيقول اما ادري والله وانا رسول الله ما يفعل بي محمد بيقول انه هو رسول لكن مش عارف شو راح يصير فيه محمد هايوت النبي تبعكم مش عارف شو راح يصير فيه هايوت مكتوب هذا في س... انا وريتك في القران وريتك في الحديث وريتك في صحيح البخاري هذا اعلى اعلى مستوى للحديث اعلى مستوى للحديث صحيح البخاري انتوا انتوا مش عارفين انا بعرف انكم مش عارفين صحيح البخاري روح اسال شيخك روح روح اسال شيخك اعلى مستوى للحديث سنة النبي هي صحيح البخاري وهي يوتف صحيح البخاري ليسن ليسن باك تو مي تو اباوت يور سيلف في شطافه وير از ذات وين هذه؟ انت اسمع اخوي اخوي نعم اخوي اعطيني حديث عن نعيم الجنه اذا انت بتعرف في الدين يلا حديث هاي. عن نعيم الجنه اوكي انت هيك بتغير الموضوع احنا خلينا في موضوع انت انت بدك لا لا انت في خان حالك تفهم في الدنيا يلا اعطيني حديث عن نعيم الجنه اوكي ها انا بقول لك انا المهم هل انت رايح على الجنه هذا المهم انا وين هل انت رايح على الجنه ولا رايح على النار انا بقول لك محمد بدك بتقدرش يوصلك للجنه احنا ما بنعرف ربنا عالم ربنا بيعلم ما أه. بنعرفش لكن المسيح بيعرف هذه هذه اللي انا بدي اقول لك اياه المسيح بيعرف المسيح بيقول لك وين هو رايح وبيقدر يوصلك ل تعرف في آه. شايف قصدك المسيح الدجال لا لا لا, لا. المسيح 
المسيح الحقيقي هو اللي اجى اللي مات على الصليب اللي مات على الصليب اوكي okay, you guys i just want you guys to know that what i'm talking to them about for those of you who don't understand the arabic is that i'm trying to tell them I, you know sam gave me a passage in the hadith sahih al bukhari that where muhammad خليني بس اترجم لهم اوكي خليني اترجم لهم انا المسيح خليني بس اترجم لهم بعدين برجع لك اوكي بس I'm, I'm telling them that there's in the hadith in the sahih al bukhari the same thing that it says in the quran where muhammad says i don't know what will be done to me I says wa ana rasul allah ma yaf'al bi he says i don't know what's going to happen uh, in the hereafter okay and so you know and i'm showing them that it's in the hadith and it's also in the quran yeah, the quran very clearly says muhammad says i don't know what's going to happen to me i don't know what's going to happen to you you know he and so anyway and so i'm trying to show these guys that Muhammad doesn't know how to save you. He can't save you. He doesn't even know about himself. But Jesus does. Jesus does know how to save you. Jesus does know where he's going, and he does know how to take you there. Muhammad doesn't. Jesus does. That's the main thing. And they keep on saying, well, read this. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. 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 Listen to اسمه يسوع في القران من عارفين يسوع اسمه اسمه الحقيقي شو المسيح اللي بتحكي عنه هذا مرسل من عند رب العالمين مش يسوع المسيح اسمه سيدنا عيسى هل هل عيسى هو آه هو الله نعم هل عيسى هو الله لا مش الله طيب uh, is asking him okay i'm asking him is jesus god is isa god and uh, i was going to use the, the passage that you told me where was it in quran i don't know yeah uh, what passage there's millions of them what are you asking me I, i'm asking about jesus being god in the quran and i asked him is jesus god you know isa is he god and and so the one I know that there's a 931. Oh, yeah, that, that's they're going to say the Arabic. Okay, yeah. So what are you trying to show them now so I can see? Are they still listening? Because they're silent. Okay. Yeah, they're listening. Are they still with you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you want to show them from the Quran that Jesus God? No. Well, I don't know. I mean, yes. the one you're going to quote to them is that it's the Lord. So what are you trying to show them from the Quran? Uh, the, I was going to show them 931, you know. Oh, okay. All right. They'll see they, if they can yeah. read that because they can read Arabic. See what they say about the Arabic. Show it to them. Okay. Shabab. Ah, ah. Okay. Ma'akum Quran? Ah, ma'ana Quran. Tab iftah ala surat al tawbah Iftah-tawbah. Iftah ala surat al tawbah He is half. Ah, he is surat tis'a. Surat tis'a. بعرف بعرف طيب شوف آية 31 يلا بس شوي خليني يلا بسرعة طب ما رش ولا آية واحد لا لا آية 31 شوي بس أجيب القرآن شوي أوكي okay, you guys what I'm telling them by the way for those who don't speak Arabic I'm taking them they they're they're talking now about Isa in the Quran. This is the Islamic Jesus, and I'm saying, is Jesus God in the Quran? And they, they so I took them to Quran chapter nine verse thirty one. Um, uh, it's fadl. Uh, um, it's it's fadl. Ah, فتحت اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا دون الله والمسيح. أيوة. شكرا شكرا ايوا صح هو سبحانه عما يشتكون يا زلمه يا عمي اكرهها كمان مره اكرهها كمان مره سيدنا عيسى الايه الايه بتحكي سيدنا عيسى امر الاتباع انهم يعبدوا الله مش يعبدوه طب طب شو شو مكتوب اكرهها كمان مره 
الله هذا هذا الله والمسيح يا زلمه الله والمسيح الارباب يا اخوي اسمع انا قصدي ان انهم اتخذوا اتخذوا دينهم يعني بدون الله والمسيح لا 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 لا, لا. انت بتتعجل كلام مش هيك لو ربنا نزلك انت بتذاكر وعرض امي صدقني انت 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 قريتها هيوت اتخذوا احبارهم ورهبانهم اربابا من دون الله والمسيح الله يعني والمسيح يا اخوي اسمعني اسمعني اتخذوا ديانتهم بدون ربنا والمسيح المسيح اسمع نبي انزل من عند الله نبي انزل من عند الله ابن مريم من عند الله شو انزل من عند الله يعني نبي نبي بعث من الله نبي بعث من الله من انهم دين بعث يعني من عم جعفر يا حبيبي بس انت اقرا انت اقرا القران انت مشكلتك مشكلتك مش معي أنا ملحد. أنا مشكلتك ملحد. مع القران لس يو جايز ذي ريد ات اند اند يو جايز فور ذوز دو دونت انديرستاند ذا اربيك ذي ذي ريد ات اند ذي ذي اوكي اتفضل اخي اسمع انا معك اتفضل اخي اتفضل راجع سوره مريم بتعرف من هو الله لا 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 انا بدي اياك تكرا هذه الايه يا اخي يا اخي يا اخي اكرا هذه الايه شو بتقول اتخذوا احبارهم ورهبانهم اربابا من دون الله والمسيح من دون الله والمسيح حبشه قال له من هو الله قال له سلاع لما قال له انطق انطق فنطق في المهد قال سلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم اموت ويوم ابعث يوم ابعث حيا والرب لا يولد والرب لا يولد ask him a question ask him a question yes okay say okay so okay. this the day he was raised the Quran says راجع سوره مريم وبتعرف من هو was raised to Allah and say where is Allah ask him just say where is Allah طب بدي اسال بدي اكتب اخي بدي اسالك سؤال مكتوب في القرآن الله بيقول للمسيح في سورة آل عمران 55 بيقول يا عيسى إني متوفيك أرافعك إلي أوكي بس خليني أخلص أوكي السؤال بتقول الله بيقول لعيسى يا عيسى إني متوفيك أرافعك إلي سؤالي وين موجود الله 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 رفع المسيح إلي قال رفع إني متوفيك وين موجود الله وين موجود وين رفع المسيح هل هو على العرش جيب كاس الحليب تقدر تحدد لي الزبدة أو السمنة في كاس الحليب is Allah on the throne where is he let's ask him تقدر تحدد تقدر تحدد الزبدة أو السمنة في كاسة الحليب؟ الزبدة أو ليش؟ السمنة في في كاسة الحليب؟ السمنة نعم من حليب مثلا البقر أو الغنم أيوة تقدر تخلص الزبدة أو السمنة أو ال آه من كاسة الحليب؟ يعني تطلع السمنة أو أو زبدة من الحليب؟ كيف كان يحدد فوق الله؟ حبيبي احنا مش اعتقد انا فاهم انا اعتقد انا فاهم شو بتقول اخي ممكن اسالك شو اسمك قل يا ايها الكافرون لا اعبد ما تعبدون 
طيب راجع الصورة هاي اسمع اخوي اخوي اسمع You started saying something about you don't know how to how to make a how to make butter from milk. <laughs> okay, but ask them, ask them, where is Allah? Is he on the throne? Where is he? إذا قال الله يا عيسى إني متوفيك ورافع إلى ومطهرك لا 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 ورافع إلي فوق الذين كفروا اسمع إلى يوم القيامة ثم إلى إلى مرجعكم فحكم فأحكم بينكم فيما كنتم فيه تختلفون يعني ربنا بحاسب عيسى وأتباعه يا ما فرجت أنا أي لا يدخل أن ربنا بحاسب عيسى وأتباعه بس أنا سؤالي سؤالي أخي Okay, uh, by the way, you guys, for those of you who don't understand the Arabic, they're reading for me that verse, chapter 5, verse 33. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. When you say, I'm going to ask you a question. When you say, I'm going to ask you a question. When you say, I'm going to ask you a question. When you say, I'm going to ask you a question. This is not a question. سؤالي وين رفعوا لوين رفعوا وين الله موجود يا اخي يا اخي ممكن تضل في موضوعنا خليك انا بسالك سؤال ليش ما ترد على السؤال Okay, أنا سؤالي وين موجود الله؟ إذا الله رفع المسيح إلي وين الله؟ الله في كل مكان، الله في الله شايفك أنت بتسامحك يعني هو رفع المسيح في كل مكان؟ لا ما رفع المسيح في كل مكان ما هو بتقول رفعتك إلي إلى نفسه رفع إلى السماء، رفع على السماء رفع روحه بشروح رفع روحه الروح روحه أنا ما بسأل عن شو رفع أنا بقول هو قال المسيح إني متوفيك ورافع كلية. أوكي. إلى هالكين اسمع هالكين المسيح رفع يوم ينزل المسيح الدجال أنا ضيت الحابة. لا لا إنسى إنسى المسيح الدجال هالكيت خلينا في إلي وين رفعه هل وين الله موجود هل هو على العرش؟ Uh, okay, he says that yes, he is on the throne. Okay, so you just prove Jesus is on the throne because Allah took Jesus to Himself. Okay, best but the Allah, either either Allah رفعه المسيح إلى نفسه ابتعني. اسمع 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 يا شباب. إذا Allah رفع يا شباب اسمع ثواني. إذا Allah رفع المسيح إلى نفسه ابتعني المسيح. موجود على عرش الله المسيح لا 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 مكتوب رفعتك لا لا لي اني متوفيك ورافعك لي اذا اذا المسيح رفع المسيح الى نفسه هو على العرش عند الله <تصفيق> اني متوفيك يعني اني مي... انه كتل ربنا ما موته اني متوفيك فاخذ روحه وطلعها فوق وين ما بتعرفش لا 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 بتعرف بتعرف الله قال انا رافعك الي بتعرف الله بيقول المكان بيقول اني متوفيك ورافعك الي وانا مبسوط انك بتقول انه متوفيك بتعني انه مات انا مبسوط انك بتقول هيك عشان صحيح المسيح مات على الصليب المسيح مات على الصليب وصفق دمه مشان يغفر خطاياك شايف عشان هيك المسيح مات وانت حلو انك بتقول هيك عشان صحيح كلامك القرآن بتقول إني متوفيك ورافعك المسيح مات على الصليب استفد دمه مشان يغفر خطاياك كم طب صديقي وكيكة واحدة أوكي خليني بس أترجم بسرعة خليني خليني أترجم بسرعة Okay guys I just want to tell you guys what's happening in the Arabic for those of you who don't understand the Arabic a really great thing has just happened I'm really happy about this is that the خليني أترجم وبعدين بحكي معك Okay I just want to tell you guys. Ah, the phone is going to be closed. 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 Ah, the phone is going to be
I made you to die and raised you up to myself. And the guy said something really great. He says, see, God made Jesus to die, which is great. I said, yes, he did make Jesus to die. And he spilled his blood to forgive your sins. It's great that we got that far met with them. And so praise be to God. Hallelujah. That's a great progress. Ushabab, kalamak sah, kalamkum sah. Allah al inni mitwafiq urafaq ilayya. Ma'na inu al-Masih itwafa. Mat ala salib min ajilkum. Safak dammu mishan yikfir khatayakum. So. Tamis, isma, isma, isma. Yes. Min al-Rasul wal-Nabi illa arjil al-Samaat al-Sabah. Shu? Min al-Rasul wal-Nabi illa arjil al-Samaat al-Sabah. Illi. اللي راح على على السماوات السبعة اللي عرج أنا مش عارف شو يعني اللي عرج What is he asking you? He's saying who is the prophet who was uh, I'm not sure there's a word he's using that I don't know عرج السماء the seven heavens I I don't know if he's talking about the معراج آه المعراج الإسراء ومعراج لما محمد راح أيوه وين موجود في القرآن هذه طل 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 يا عرفات عرفات you know they're talking about which is the prophet that went to the seven heavens. Say which is the prophet that didn't stay in the seven heavens and then died and was buried. But ممكن أقولكم كمان مين النبي اللي ما ظل اللي مش موجود في في السبع سماوات ونزل على الأرض ومات في في مدينة. إدريس. أو 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 مدفون هناك في مدينة. محمد حبيبي. بس إن طيب يا شباب. and then she'll ask him say ask him not that three only three fifty five four one fifty eight says Jesus is with Allah Allah took Jesus to Himself so if Allah is above the seven heavens Jesus is above the seven heavens and He's been there for two thousand years so answer that. شباب شباب أنا بدي فرجيكم آية في القرآن okay بدي فرجيكم آية في القرآن بتقول في سورة النساء شوف بدي فرجيكم في سورة النساء مية مية ثمانية وخمسين اسمع أنا اللي اللي ساعة بسمعكم وأنتوا بتضلوا ما بتردوش على ولا السؤال أوكي بد أوكي بدي فرجيكم آية في القرآن شو شو بتقول بل رفعه الله إليه وكان الله عزيز وحكيما هيوت مكتوب إنه الله رفع المسيح إليه شايف الله رفع المسيح إليه يعني هاي مرتين في القرآن مكتوب مكتوب إني متوفيك ورافعك إلي وهاي يطف في سورة في سورة النساء مية ثمانية وخمسين بتقول الله رفعه إليه ورفع المسيح إليه وألفين سنة المسيح عند الله عند الله وين الله موجود حبيبي الله فوق السماوات والمسيح عند الله عشان مكتوب مرتين في القران رفعه اليه رفع روحه لا بهمش روح ولا جسد هذا مش الموضوع الموضوع هو الله قال يا عيسى اني متوفيك ورافعك الي رفعوا إليه يعني المسيح عند الله إله ألفين سنة رفع روح عند ربنا الروح ولا جسد هي هذه مش الموضوع هو المسيح الله بحكي زيك الله بيقول يا عيسى إني متوفيك ورافعك إلي المسيح عند الله هيوت مرتين في القرآن سورة النساء مية ثمانية وخمسين وكمان في سورة آل عمران خمسة وخمسين شوف يا شباب المسيح عند الله ولكن محمد وين؟ قلت الله يوخك يا سلام شو؟ ليش بتحكي هيك؟ ليش بتحكي هيك؟ احنا بنتكلم وبعدين انت هيك بتغلط؟ طيب احنا خلصنا هيك اوكي؟ عشان كلامك مش حلو بدك تحكي بدك تحكي محترم اوكي؟ اسمع اسمع يلا شباب احنا هيك خلصنا اوكي؟ انا بدي 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 ادخل مع الاخ رضوان Yalla, okay? I'm done with these guys. Why? What happened? And just because they're, they're, uh, they're being disrespectful now. Oh, yeah? But you know what? I want to respond to this other guy. I want to okay. respond to Redouan. You know, if you can see what Redouan wrote. He says, the Bible can't be used as truth as it is a corrupted book. Okay, let him come on if he's going to come on.
Radwan, come on. I sent you an invitation. Come on and, and let's talk about this. You said the Bible can't be used as truth. It's a corrupted book. Come on and talk about it. Bring your proof when you say it's a corrupted book. Yep. Would you like to go ahead and respond to that, Sam, anyway? Oh, there's too many verses. Well, I'll give them to you. But Yeah, uh, go ahead because he's he speaks English. So. Oh, good, good. Hopefully he'll come on because that uh, if the Bible is a corrupted book, that means he just proved Muhammad is a liar and Muhammad deceived them. So it's up to him. He can now become an atheist because all throughout the Quran, there's too many verses. But I'm going to give you one link to one of my articles. All the verses are there. I'll give you a couple. I'm going to put it for you. Where verse after verse, Muhammad says, the books in the hands of the Jews and Christians, those books I confirm to be true, and that you are to use those books to judge and live in accordance with those books. So if, that, if the Quran is true, Muhammad confirmed the books of the Jews and Christians that they had at Muhammad's time, and those books are the same books we have today in the Bible. There is no denying that. So that means if he's right, Muhammad confirmed books that were corrupted, which means Muhammad either lied because he's deceiving the Jews and Christians or he didn't know what he's talking about. So it's up to him. But I'll get you those verses in a minute. Uh, I, I, did you, I wanted to ask you this too because I tried to call you. I'm going to get you the article right now. Uh, someone emailed me saying that you said on your broadcast yesterday you're living in a hotel. <laughs> well, you know, I was for two days, but uh, I, I, I'm now at the uh, parsonage of the church. <laughs> oh, so you're not in your place anymore? No. Okay. But, well, j just for two weeks because I got to fix my water heater. <laughs> okay, so it's not okay. I, I because I was just assuming because uh, he thought you're literally homeless. I know that's not possible. No, I kind of was trying to milk it for all the sympathy I could get from it, but it was. And you got this guy believing it, and then give me a hard time. Good job, uh, buddy. Uh, well, no, I was, I was, I was because they asked me to leave my home because of the water heater broke, and so I had to find another place. And and I was telling them before I before I left my place, I I was homeless. You know, I was look, I wasn't really homeless, but I did stay at a hotel for two days. Right. But now, but now they let me. Uh, but now I am at the church. So. You know, I just gave you the link to my article. You can open it up. Open it up. That is a thorough article that I wrote. You, every verse that you need and hadith that you need to prove that Muhammad taught. Our Bible today that you have is the uncorrupt word of God. That article is more than enough. I have a lot of articles, but I think this one, if I had to recommend one, this would be the one. So if you want to click it up, click click it and just read from there. I even have subheadings. Okay. Okay, you guys, this is very important. Radwan, Radwan Abdullah, I hope you're listening because this is for you. You're the one who brought this subject up. Of course, it's a typical subject, one of the top five questions Muslims always ask, but you said the Bible can't be used as it's a corrupted book. If you're saying that, you're calling Muhammad a liar because these are the, this is what Muhammad said about the Bible. And this is the article uh, by uh, uh, Sam. And let me go ahead and put the link on. So if you guys want to open it, let me put it here. Here's the link. Okay. And here it says, the Quran's confirmation of Judeo-Christian scriptures. Okay. And let's look at the different subjects that, uh, you guys can go back and read this on your own time. Muhammad refers to the previous revelations as the Torah and the gospel as still being extant during his lifetime. And then the verses right there. So you can start reading. Okay, here's some verses, you guys. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet of the common folk, whom they find written down with them in the Torah and the gospel. Okay, bidding them. Okay. Uh, whom they find written down with them. That means they had it during Muhammad's time. Here's, here's chapter 9, 111. Okay. God has brought from the believers their selves and their possessions against the gift of paradise. They fight in the way of God. They kill and are killed. Mashallah. Okay. That is a promise binding upon God in the Torah and the gospel and the Quran. 
and who fulfills his covenant. <laughs> okay, uh, now this is... Uh, explain to him why you're reading these verses, because notice it's present tense. Yes. There is this promise in the Torah and the Gospel. Well, if this promise is in the Torah and the Gospel at the moment, that means the Torah and the Gospel is there for them to see this promise, right? Right. And, and then if you go back to 7157, if you reread it carefully... It says the Torah and the Gospel with them at with Muhammad's time. Them. Yes, I know that. I and here, here's chapter twenty, verse one thirty-three. Has there not come to them the clear sign of what is in the former scrolls? The former scrolls, meaning the Torah and the Gospel. And so it's there, right? It's it's in there now. Is in that means they have those scrolls right there, right? That's right. And you know, I got the, you know, the one thing that. Uh, let me show this because I've got the, uh, you know, I've got the, uh, let me see if I, if I have it right here. Okay. Uh, you know, there's, there's also this, this verse right here. It says, la mubaddil la kilimat Allah. You know, that, that means there's no changing the words of Allah. Here's another verse. There's no changing the words of Allah. Nobody can change the words of Allah. You know, the, the Quran says this very plainly. Nobody can change Allah's words. And so if you're saying, Radwan, that Allah that, that the Bible's corrupted, you're saying that the words of Allah have been changed. That means the Quran is is, is wrong when it says that. And uh, I wanted to show you also that this is what it says. Uh it says that Allah preserved uh, preserved the Bible. But which one? This is what it says in the Quran. The one illi ma'kum. That means the one that is with you. The one that is with you. Illi bin ide. The one that is in their hands. The And then this one. Ma'hum. Ma'kum. If you went to my article in paragraph two, instead of getting excited, you would see it's there for them to see. Yeah. Well, I, I was just wondering. Sure. Paragraph two, the Quran confirms with Dino, brother. You're excited. Patience, friend. Go there, show them paragraph two. And what you just said, it's right there. Yeah. Sinner. When are you going to repent face the east? Sorry. Okay. So here, here you guys. See? Or has he not been told of what is in the scrolls of Moses? No, paragraph two. Paragraph oh. two. For you. you see that? You see what's paragraph, paragraph two? Okay. Quran confirms the scriptures that were in the possession of the Jews and Christians of Muhammad's time. And this see, is what you're reading. That is with you, you see? Yeah, that was with them. That Okay, here, here it is. It says, and I believe in that I have sent down confirming that which is with you. Yeah, look at the next other verses after that. You'll see. It's all there in this article. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Thank you for compiling that, man. When there came a book from God confirming what is with them, confirming. You guys, Radwan, listen, Radwan. The Quran did not come to delete. It did not come to abrogate. It did not come to change. It did not come to correct. It came to confirm what is with them, you know, and what they had at the time of Muhammad. Look, yet... It is a truth confirming what is with them. This is in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 89, verse 91. Wow, this is so great, man, to have it all in one place. Thank you, Sam, for yeah, doing and, and you see what the third paragraph is. Just to give an idea of how I broke it down into different sections. I, I call it a paragraph, but it's sections. Look at section three. The Quran claims that the Jews and Christians of Muhammad's time were studying and reciting the book thereby implying that they possess the original uncorrupt scriptures. So here's another section. Yet they recite the book. And who recite it with true recitation? Rather, be you masters that you know the book and then that you study, you see? So I broke it down in several sections. Awesome. These are they to whom we gave the book. You know what I like about that is that it's saying that Allah is the one who's saying, I gave them that book, you know. So if we already entrusted it to people who do not disbelieve, though those are they whom God has guided. So follow their guidance. Wow. Yeah, and you go and I, you'll see it, and I give hadith as well. 
Awesome. So Perfect. it's all there. So for the Duan really serious, he can come on and we can then discuss these passages. And okay. Hadith that I quoted. I'm going to send this article to Radwan. Let's if see. he's serious. Yeah. You know what? He's been coming on for a couple of days. I mean, I never. Uh, he came on for the first time yesterday. And uh, he's, you know, the good thing is that he's, at least he's intelligible. You know, he's, he's talking and saying things that are, uh, right. you can respond to, you know. And now go to section four, because I'm going to show you something. What the, how the commentators explain certain verses section four because this one you're gonna like okay watch this one guys okay okay muhammad calls the jews and <laughs> christians to judge by their respective scriptures which again presupposes that these communities possess original genuine revelations of god Wow. Now notice the verse I quote. Notice it because okay. you're going to see how they explain it. Hast thou not regarded those who were given a portion of the book being called to the book of God that it might decide between them? Now and what is the book of God? Now understand what it's saying. Mm -hmm. The people of the book were called to judge by the book of God. Now you think this is the Quran, right? But now read the explanation. The book of God that they're called to judge by is the Torah that they had. Right there, read the commentary. And this is, oh, I see. This is how the expositors said it. Have you not seen those who are given a portion, a share of the book? The Torah being called the book of God. Wow, right there. The Torah being called the book of God. Wow. Keep reading. Uh, that it might decide between them. And then a party of them turned away opposed to the acceptance of its ruling. This was revealed concerning the Jews. Two of them fornicated and they, the Jews, asked the prophet to adjudicate the case. He ruled that they be stoned. But they, the Jews, refused to do so. When the Torah was brought and consulted, the same verdict was found. And so the two were stoned. But they, the Jews, became wrathful. So the book of Allah is the Torah that they had that they were called to judge by, which they refused. Wow. Right? That's that, at the time of Muhammad, this Tafsir al-Jalalain. Tafsir al-Jalalain, you guys. That's, those are some of the big guns right there. Now notice the next one. Hast thou seen those who have received a portion of the scripture? Uh, there is a difference of opinion about this verse versus occasion of revelation. As Sudi said, when the prophet called the Jews to embrace Islam, al norman ibn Affa said to him, Come, O Muhammad, and let the rabbis judge between us. He said, Let the scripture of Allah be judged between us. They said, No, let the rabbis judge. And so Allah exalted as he revealed this verse. Okay. On, on, the, other on. Hand, yeah. on the other hand, Sayyid uh, ibn Jubair and the Karama reported that ibn Abbas said, the messenger of Allah entered on a group of Jews in a Jewish place of study and called them to Allah. Nu'aym ibn Amr and Al-Harith ibn Zaid said to him, Muhammad, which religion are you on? He said, the religion of Abraham. They said, but Abraham was a Jew. The messenger of Allah said, in that case, let us go to the Torah and let it judge between them, between us. They refused. And Allah exalted revealed the verse. Okay. So Allah was telling the Jews, why aren't you judging by the book of Allah, meaning the Torah that you have? Wow. Yeah. Why? Why is the, why is Muhammad calling their Torah the book of Allah and telling them judge by it? If wow. it's corrupted. Didn't he just say you can't judge by a corrupted book? Wow. So didn't, isn't didn't Radwan say that? That's what Radwan said. Yeah, now to skip skip over, I want you to scroll down till you get to uh, Ibn Kathir. I quote Ibn Kathir after you see chapter 5, verse 47 to 40, 43, 47. You see that long citation. Right after that, you'll see me quoting Ibn Kathir and his explanation of chapter 5, verse 41. Watch what he quotes. You'll see it there. Okay, tell Keep me what, how far down to go. Okay, slowly go down. You're almost there. Go, 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 go. Go right there, almost there, almost there. It's right there. 
Okay. There the is the prophet. Go, the prophet recited. The prophet recited. Bring here the Torah and recite it if you are truthful. So they brought the Torah and read from it until the reader reached the verse about stoning. Then he placed his hand on the verse and read what was before and after it. Abdullah bin Salam, who was with the Messenger of Allah, said, Order him to remove his hand. And he removed his hand, and under it was the verse about stoning. So the Messenger of Allah commanded that the adulterers be stoned, and they were stoned. Abdullah bin Omar said, I was among those who stoned them, and I saw the man shading his woman from the stones with his body. Abu Dahud recorded that Ibn Omar said, some of the Jews came to the Messenger of Allah, invited him to go to the Kuf area. So he went to the house of Al Midras and said, O oh, Abu al Qasim, a man from us committed adultery with a woman, so decide the manner. Okay, so they arranged, uh, they arranged a pillow, and the Messenger of Allah, he sat on it and said, Bring the Torah to me. He was brought the Torah. He removed the pillow from under him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I trust in you and he who revealed it to you. Why is he saying that if the Torah is corrupt and according to Radwan, you're not supposed to judge by a corrupted book? Wow. You, you, you know, Sam, well, what about if someone says, well, okay, they had the right one then, but it's been corrupted since then. Okay, since we have copies of the Torah before, during, and after Muhammad, and they're identical to what we have today. So then when did the corruption take place? Hmm. So we have copies before, during, and after the time of Muhammad. Yep, and they're identical. Identical. Wow. What about the Injil? We have copies before, during, and after Muhammad that are identical, showing that whatever gospel Jesus passed on to his followers, <clears throat> we still have it because the only gospel that Jesus' followers passed on, which the church has always had, are what you find in the New Testament. Wow. That's just a fact of history, archaeology. It's not just it's a fact. So, I hope you're listening, Radwan. This is all for you, man. You know, Radwan is here because he's listening. He just put this in. He says, books of Musa, Ibrahim, and Isa. Yeah. Well, he's going to have to explain to us why is his prophet saying that their Torah is the book of Allah if their copy of the Torah was corrupted and it's not the original. In other words, their copy are not accurate copies of what Allah had sent down. So why is your prophet rebuking the Jews for not following their Torah if their Torah is corrupt? In fact, he should say to them what you said. Don't follow your Torah, it's corrupt. He goes, no, follow your Torah, it's the book of Allah. And if you don't follow it, then you are rebels. Okay. He says, the Bible is corrupted, but not the Torah. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Friend, the word Bible simply means book. I don't know if he's un he understands what he's talking about. The word Bible comes from Latin Biblia. In Latin, Biblia means book. The word Biblia in Latin comes from the Greek Biblia, which means books, which means books. So when you speak of the Bible, you're simply saying the book. And what does the Quran refer to the book that they had? Kitab. In fact, in chapter 2, verse 113, it says, the Jews and Christians read the book, Kitab. If I translate in Greek, it's the Jews and Christians read the Biblos, the Bible. In fact, I proved that because I got sick of this argument. I actually wrote an article. I wrote an article showing the Greek Quran translating the word Kitab as Bible. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I, I got tired of it. Here you go. We may have a Muslim custom on Skype. Do you want me to take them? Okay. Here, now show them that link, open it up real quickly. If he's going to be one of those guys that yells and screams, I'll just block him. Okay, I got so tired of the Muslims saying, well, it doesn't mean Bible. Well, I quote the English translation of the Greek Quran. Okay, this is the Holy Quran with Greek translation. So if you click on the link in my article, it takes you to the page. Where you find it. This is the Greek Quran with English translation. You see the Greek and English. So guess what I do? I take the translation and I add the word for book in Greek within parentheses. 
So, for example, chapter 2, verse 2 of the Quran, it says, that is the book, right? It says, Dalika kitab. Guess what is in Greek? Biblio. Biblio is the word we get Bible. Wow. Are you seeing the implication of that? Wow. Okay, now I don't know if you guys know what that means. It means the word Bible is simply the word for book. We get it from Latin. It's a transliteration. So what does Bible mean? It means book. So of course the Quran confirms the Bible because the Quran confirms the book of the Jews and Christians. So in Greek you would say the Quran confirms the Biblia or Biblos of the Jews and Christians. Wow. Wow. In fact, in fact, if you look at chapter 2, verse 87, it says, And we gave to Moses the book. Guess what it is in Greek? To Bibliu. Wow. That's the word where we get Bible from. Let me Can go down. Do yeah. Hey, could you tell your friend to do to go in and go out again because it's not working? Which friend of mine? Who's down there? Uh, the guy you brought from Skype. Oh, well, where is he going in and out? I don't get it. Well, it's here on the uh, – he came he's, he's on. on Skype. Hold on. Let me get him on Skype. Yeah, he he came on, but it doesn't work. Yeah, no, sorry. Let me get him on Skype. You don't need to get him there. Hold on. Books of Jews and Nazarenes. Yeah, I mean – Let me see if it's him. Uh, is that you, Khalid? No, no it's me, Reload, Sam. I don't know who Reload is. I've been watching you for a year and a half. Hold on. You're calling Should me I... as I'm in a live stream, buddy. We're waiting for a Muslim. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked on the live stream. It didn't come up, so I didn't oh, see I'll you. call you back. I'll call you back, Reload. Just keep reloading, Matrix, all right? Sorry, sir. That's okay. Just keep reloading, Matrix. I'll call you back. Okay. Right. Hey, uh, tell your friend, Martin, that they'll need to connect their mic and cam before we can add them to the stream. Who's Martin? There's a guy named Martin that just that's trying that's to join him. That's it's not the guy. I know. That's, that's not, not the Muslim. No. That's not the Muslim. Okay. No. Yeah, he's, he's the one. Troll. He's the one that's trying to come on. So. No, he's probably a troll. So I don't know. Who he is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about any. Uh, I don't know Martin. This guy's name is Khalil. Oh, Khalil. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So you you probably got a troll that wants to come on. So. Anyway, did you show them you the uh, see? So, guys, when they tell you the Quran doesn't confirm Bible, does mention Bible, they're either ignorant or they're lying. Let me explain to the Christians again, because even Christians don't know why we call it the Bible. Christians are wondering, hey, why do we call it the Bible? Okay, this is something you can easily verify. Get any scholarly source, it will tell you. For the Christians, I want you to remember this. The word Bible comes from Latin Biblia. Biblia. Biblia is the Latin word for book. That Latin word comes from the Greek, Biblia, even in Greek. But in Greek, Biblia means books. Biblos means book. So when you say Holy Bible, you're saying Holy Book. That's all you're saying. And if you don't believe me, I just gave you the link. The Quran's been translated in Greek. The link is there. You read the Greek. If you Greek readers, you can read the Quran in Greek, and they provide an English translation. I show the places where the Arabic word kitab, book, is translated as biblos, the word for Bible. You get my point? Wow. So there you go. That's a great thank you for, you know, it's like <laughs> they just come in every possible way, through the door, through the window, through the back door, through anything to try to justify a crumbling position that just doesn't yeah. work. So thank so, you for well, I just want them to understand, brother. When the Quran says, Ahlil Kitab, people of the book, they read the book, Kitab. In fact, in my article, I even quote chapter 2, verse 113. If you can scroll down to it, it's there, uh, where I show you 213. It says, the, the Jews say, the Christians stand not on anything. The Christians say, the Jews stand not on anything, yet they recite the book, Kitab. In Greek, to idiu. Biblio. They recite the Bible. Biblio. Biblio. This is See it, you guys, right here. The Jews stand not on anything. The Christians say the Jews stand not on anything. Yet they recite the book, the Idio Biblio. 
Yeah, you're right. So biblio is actually the accusative. I'm sorry, the dative. It's the dative case. The, you don't need to get into the Greek grammar. Biblio is the dative case of biblos and simply means Bible book. So here the Greek, if a Greek reader is reading it, here he'd see the Quran saying that they read the Bible. Mm. Here's 121. To those we have given the book, Biblio. To those whom we've given the Bible. We've given the Bible. Say me something. Wrong. You get my point? Yes. So, so you get it. You get that this argument needs to be put to rest. We need to stop the nonsense of saying that the Quran does not confirm the Bible. That's a lie. And then if Ridwan wants to comment, if he says, well, the Quran confirms the Torah given to Moses. Here's what's interesting. Here is what's interesting, guys. You know there's not a single verse in the Quran that says the Torah was given to Moses? It says the book was given to Moses, but it doesn't tell us that book is the Torah. Do you know that, brother? Wow. I heard you say it before. And so I. <laughs> okay. So why am I mentioning it? How do they know what the Torah is? They don't know what the Torah is. They have to go to the Jews and Christians to find out. And if oh. you go to the Hadith, the Hadith don't help. You know why? Because why? according to the Salaf, <clears throat> according to Muhammad's companions, the word Torah was used for both testaments, for all the books of the two testaments, not just for the books of Moses. Here, let me get you the article on that one. Okay. You got a cat situation over there. I have what? A cat situation. I know. It's too hot. It wants to go out. I know. First time I see hair over your head. Right, man, but it's kind of beautiful, isn't it, my hair? No, it's kind of hot for the cat. Hold on. Let me get it for you. Here it is. This is it. Does the does Torah refer only to revelation given to Mo Moses? Now, here, let me get you the article. Here, guys, every single objection they have against the Bible, glory to Jesus Christ by his power, by the grace of his spirit, we have decimated. I'm not exaggerating. See? Notice every objection, we got an article. Can you click on that one? Hallelujah. Here it is. Hallelujah. So, Praise be to God, man. That's awesome. So you got three articles dealing with the issue of Bible, the word Torah and and the corruption of the book right there three hallelujah thank you for doing that man I'm you, went serious. To the other, you went to the wrong link the Greek Quran right no no the other one the one I just sent you the one beneath it that was the last one no brother I gave you one right after check I just sent it to oh, you right okay, now. Check. okay yeah yeah I got it I got it you're okay. sinning too much man I don't know if I can bear, carry you anymore Because I'm a Christian. That's right. Palestinian. I'm going to. Yes, that's exactly. That. Does the Torah refer only to the revelation given to Moses? Yes. Refuting another Muslim king. <laughs> canard, canard. Now, scroll down to where I quote Ibn Kathir on 7157. You'd say, note, for example, what Ibn Kathir writes in regards to 7157. Ibn Jarir recorded that Al Mutana said, that Atta bin Yasir said, I met Abdullah bin Amir and asked him, tell me about the description of Allah's messenger in the Torah. He said, yes, by Allah. He is described in the Torah, just as he is described in the Quran. O Prophet, verily we have sent you as a witness and bearer of glad tidings and a warner, 3345, as a safe refuge for the unlettered one. You are my servant and messenger. I have called you, Al Mutawakil, who trusts in Allah. Not hard or harsh, neither unuttering foul speech in the markets or returning evil deeds with one in kind. Rather, he forgives and foregoes. Allah will not end his life until he straightens through him the crooked religion so that they might proclaim there's no deity worthy of worship except Allah. He will open through him sealed hearts, deaf ears, and blind eyes. Dang, I know where that comes from. Yeah, see, this is the Arabic butchering of Isaiah 42. But I want you to why they're quoting Isaiah 42. They think it's about Muhammad. Notice they called Isaiah the Torah. Wow. That's the, now, that, yeah. Now, I want you to see 
They're going to explain why they called Isaiah 42, which they butchered in Arabic, the Torah. It was said, I mean, it was common in the speech of our Salaf that they described the people of the two scriptures, people of the two scriptures as the Torah, as some hadiths concur. Wow. Okay. By the way, Martin is this satanic troll that was attacking the comment section. You want to get rid of him, your stream, because he was just barking. He came under a Chinese name, Sunza, and making fun. Now he's here on your stream yard barking again. Yeah. So if you want to block him from your stream, get this demon out of here, brother. But you see what the Salaf said? It was common in the speech of our Salaf that they describe the books of the people of the two scriptures as the Torah. So all their books. All their books, the books of the Jews and Christians, they would refer as the Torah. The Torah, wow. Now look at the wow. other quote from Ibn Kathir. The other quote from Ibn okay. Kathir. Right underneath that one. Okay. And here is what he states elsewhere. And it is reckoned and it should be recognized that many of our forebears used to apply the word Torah to the books of the peoples of the scriptures. These are, in their view, more comprehensive than those God revealed to. Wow. So well, that's even Kathir, you guys. Dude, that is awesome, man. And what, what's, what my point is in this article, I prove from Sunni sources and all their other Muslims are not Sunni. You guys have been lied to. Christians, you have been lied to. You have been deceived by Zakir Naik and Shirali, these satanic tools into believing that the Quran only confirms the Torah given to Moses when the Quran never says the Torah is given to Moses and the Muslim sources prove Torah is used for all the books of the Jews and Christians. Ridwan, Abdullah, phone is about to die. Dude, why, just come on for a few minutes and talk with us. You've been watching. Just, you got a few minutes left on your battery. Come on, I sent you an invitation a hundred times. Just come on and talk with us. You can see we're reasonable. We want to talk to you. We don't just want to, you know, make a big deal here. So just come on. Use the few minutes you got left on your battery so that you can come on with us. So anyway, so, he says his phone is about to die. Yeah, well, he can set up something. I'll come on. But you've given Redwan the articles. This is all from Quran, Hadith, and his Muslim commentators. So that enough of these lies. Yeah. Nowhere does the Quran say Torah is given to Moses. That's number one. The Islamic sources say Torah was used for all the books of the Jews and Christians, not just the book given to Moses. Number two, nowhere does the Quran say the <laughs> scriptures that were sent down before Muhammad are corrupt. They, they actually teach those scriptures are incorruptible, are preserved, and that the Jews and Christians had pure, uncorrupt copies of those original revelations. And that they were to judge by them. And if they didn't judge by them, they were condemned by Allah. Number three, it is a lie that the Quran doesn't mention the Bible. Because the Bible is simply an English word taken from the Latin. The Latin word is Biblia, where we get Bible. Biblia simply means book. Why would I expect an Arabic book to use a Latin term? The Latin word Biblia means book. What I expect is that the Arabic will use the Arabic equivalent for the word book. And what is the Arabic equivalent? Kitab. And the, when the Quran says the Jews and Christians read the Kitab, they are people of the Kitab. That is simply the Arabic way of saying they read the Bible. They're the people of the Bible because Bible simply means book. Okay. Radwan Allah is saying, where did I lie? Quran talks about books. No Christian in the Quran. What? I don't know what's talking about. He did have another question, though, that was good. And he, sure. he says, I don't know if you'd like to respond. And by the way, Sam, I want to thank you. Because Radwan has been on with us the whole time. And he's been listening to everything you've been saying. And he knows where the articles are if he wants Everything that you said is available to him. So thank you for, for having your arguments and your, your books there. I mean, your articles there. So 
but he asked one other thing here. Let me just see if I can put it back on for you for a second. He, he had one question. He said, he said, so why don't you have Muhammad in the Bible? That's actually the reason why we reject Muhammad. I don't, I don't think he gets it. Ridwan, let me spell it out for you. This is why Christians believe Muhammad is a false prophet. Here's why. Though Muhammad confirmed my Bible as the uncorrupt, pure words of God, still preserved in our possession. And though Muhammad said <clears throat> that you know, I'm to judge by my Bible. And though Muhammad said that he agrees with my Bible. When I come and read Muhammad's book, the Quran, I see he contradicts my Bible, which means that if Muhammad is right, that I'm supposed to judge him by my Bible, because my Bible is the uncorrupt word of God preserved, hasn't been corrupted, as Muhammad himself believed, that it's not corrupted, judged by it, then I have no choice but to reject Muhammad as a liar and a fraud because he contradicts the Bible that he thought he confirmed, and the Bible doesn't mention him as a true prophet but as an antichrist. It's similar to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the Mormons, who says that the same God of the Bible sent him, but when we compare his teachings with the Bible, he contradicts the Bible and we reject him. So what do Mormons say? Well, your Bible's corrupt. You need us to explain it. That's exactly what all cultists do. Cult. They appeal to the Bible. When the Bible exposes them, it's all oh, because it's corrupt or no, you're not interpreting it correctly. <laughs> this is proof that Muhammad is not a prophet because he says the Bible is the pure words of God preserved. And I confirm it, but he actually contradicted it, which means he didn't know what was in the Bible and he exposed himself. Wow. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Sam. There's two great things that were accomplished today. I mean, this rarely happens in a live stream where I can actually point to two great things that happen. Number one is those Arab guys in Palestine. I'm not sure where they were. One of them came out and said, Jesus died. He, he just, and the great thing is he read the Quran and based on that, he kept saying Jesus died. So that was great progress. If he gets that in his head, praise be to God, that's progress. And the number two is these articles for Ridwan. Every question he asked was answered right, like hitting a, hit, a nail on the head and that, with your articles. And thank you so much for doing that, man. That's awesome, man. Praise be to God. I'm, you know, that's when you feel like, you know what? You feel like, wow, there really is. You know, sometimes you feel like, why am I doing this? But when you, you see questions being answered, you know, and people being led towards the truth, you really, it makes you feel like, wow, praise be to God for that, man. So, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Keep up the great work. I was just trying to make sure you're okay, but you're okay then. You're going to be back in your house in two weeks, right? Yeah. You, you know what happened? Let me just tell you what happened, because this is kind of a cool thing. You know, uh, I'm not going to say what happened, but you know what? Uh, I was called and told, you know, your water heater's broken. And because the water heater's broken, the water had to be cut off into my place to, to turn it off. When the water's turned off, that means the place is, is legally uninhabitable. You cannot have anybody live there because there's no water going to it. And mm -hmm. so I had to find another place. And, you know, the first two nights I stayed in hotels. It ended up costing me like 200 bucks. And you know what happened today? Somebody... Mm -hmm. Somebody kept asking me, they said, hey, I want to know what your PayPal is because, you know, I don't like using Patreon or something. And so I kept on, you know, I figured out how to use the PayPal. And, you know, I didn't know what to, you know, I was expecting 10 bucks or 25 bucks. The guy sent me 200 bucks, man. It paid, for my, need, right? it paid for my two hotel nights. It's a <laughs> it's See, a just what you needed. And in Jesus' name, as people are hearing you, the people are hearing you now. Yeah. They're going to contribute to your ministry because you guys see this brother is serving the Lord, but he also has to work and we're not rich. So we don't do this for money. He doesn't do it for money. And I can vouch. I know the man. He's even had me stay at his place and hasn't charged me a penny. And he's very gracious. I'm not saying in front of him. Uh, this is the facts. Whenever I've gone in his area, he lets me stay, doesn't charge me a penny because he understands I'm in minister as well. So I pray in Jesus' name. I'm not trying to manipulate you. You don't have to give a dime. We do this freely. That the Lord will put in your hearts and you'll contribute to his ministry. Now, you should share with them the PayPal link. You know the link now? Yeah. 
I do. I, I do that. Yeah. Okay, this is what you do. Share it now in the comment section and then put it put the link in your description box. When your yeah. video, YouTube video is done, you can go to edit. And then in description box, you say, here's my PayPal link. Okay. And this is how, because I know there are brothers and sisters who love Jesus. They're not rich, but they love Jesus and are willing to support you because they know you're not doing it for money and you're not manipulating them. The Bible says, this is the truth. And God sanctify my heart. I'm not trying to manipulate you guys emotionally. You don't want to give our reward is with Jesus. But the Bible does say, Luke 10, 7, the laborer is worthy of his wages. That's what the Lord Jesus said to disciples. Any home that receives you, stay in that place and eat, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. And then Galatians 6, verse 6, brethren, Galatians 6, verse 6 says, now share all good things with the one who teaches you. The one who's teaching you, share good things with him. Reap. So a material blessing in his life so you can reap a spiritual reward. That's actually in Galatians 6, 6 to, to 8. Read it. It's there. I'm not making it up. So the man is worthy of his wages. Pray God will keep him safe because he's shown his face to his Muslim relatives. If you guys don't know what that means, he's got Muslim relatives in Palestine that if they catch him, I'm pretty certain there'd be at least one or two or a couple who would want to kill him for all in his messenger. But you see, he's showing his face boldly because he's not afraid to die. As long as Jesus lives and his life is in the hands of Jesus, he's doing it for the glory of Jesus. And let me bear witness. I'm trying, I don't want to drag this, but I want to let another man praise you, the Bible says. So I'm praising you, and I mean it, because I see the Spirit working in you. In Balboa Park, in Balboa Park, where these dogs are now barking, saying we, were, we ran from Uthman. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I have the video where I was smoking and schooling his minions as Anthony was showing what an idiot he is. He doesn't know much, even though he was ranting and acting tough. In Balboa Park, I saw a couple of Muslim guys surrounding him, encircling him as he was preaching boldly, not backing down in their face because they thought they could intimidate him. And once they saw he knew Arabic and he was bold like a lion and went back down, they walked away from him because they knew they couldn't handle him. But if this was jihad, they would have slaughtered all of us. They're just waiting for the time, and may God never allow it to be, may Jesus never allow it to be, where there's enough of them to attack, and the first people to be killed, beheaded, will be people like Steve. So pray for this man. There you go. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. In fact, I'm going out right now to go put my table out to go with I promise I will make Anaheim, that. So. Here's what I'm going to do. So thank you Here's so much. I, I need to come up one day and do ministry with you on a Saturday. The problem is Friday nights here. I teach at a Bible study at a church. And so I'm going to try to orchestrate it where I can be there and go out and do ministry with you because that's what I want to do. So Lord willing, let's see God opens a door for a day where I can do that. So there you go, my brother. Okay. I hope you're there. Cool. You still there? Connection's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I, I, I. We went off there a little bit. But came back on. So, thank you. I sure appreciate it. And you guys, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please go subscribe to my channel. Man, also, okay. and we're trying to get up to two thousand. You're breaking up, brother. Your connection. Brother, your connection's bad. You're breaking up. They can't hear you. Bad connection. Yep, your connection's gone, bro. All right, he's gone. The connection. Yo, bro, your connection's gone. You're frozen. So maybe you just want to shut down. You are gone. You're frozen. You're frozen with your fingers up, and that's not a pretty sight. You're actually scaring me. You know, I'm getting scared. Isn't that a scary sight, guys? Seeing this guy with his fingers up and with that beard, and man, wow, what a scary sight. Hopefully he'll be watching the live stream, and he'll shut down, because I don't want this for two hours seeing that face. Okay, brother. You're frozen. Maybe you want to shut down. 
Lord Jesus bless you.